Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so about a year ago, I built a portable battery pack. Uh, it was housed in a Milwaukee Packout, uh, the base of the Milwaukee Packout, and uh, it was a, a little 24 volt battery. Um, it had a, a PIP uh, 24, 24, so 2.4 kW inverter, and about four kilowatt hours of battery storage. Um, and that thing was awesome. You know, the, I, I brought it to work, the guys loved it. Uh, we do a lot of ground arrays, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, uh, and some off-grid stuff too. Um, and it, it was really handy just to be able to bring it, you know, bring it to site. You know, people could power their routers off of it, their refrigerator for the day if we had the power out. Um, we could drag it out in the field, you know, power the puller, uh, you know, any power we needed on the job site. Um, so it was great. But uh, oh, it was a couple weeks ago, the guys brought it back and said, hey, uh, the thing didn't work. It, it, it farted. I was like, well, yeah, that's not a good noise. You should probably put it outside because it might blow up. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, so I, you know, I was, I was a little worried. I'm like, what, what happened to this thing? So, um, turns out the, uh, the inverter must have died. Um, you know, I, I haven't opened it up yet. I just put it on the bench here. Uh, so I'm going to open it up now and see what's going on in there. Um, I did try to get it started using a resistor uh, just to give it kind of a little bit of power. And there just seems to be a dead short inside the inverter. That thing gets rolled around through fields and it's, you know, it, it gets beat up pretty good. So I'm kind of not surprised that it broke, but uh, I'd love to see what happened to it. So let's open it up here. So inside of here, it's not very pretty. But uh, I have a contact right there, and it's wired over to a switch on the front. Uh, so all I have to do is push the switch, and it closes the contactor, and turns everything on. So I got the inverter on the bench. Um, I didn't, there wasn't any smoke or anything coming out of it. But uh, we'll see what happened here. So look at that, guys, right away. First thing, I open this up, and I see a little smoke there. So that's a screw head that's melted. Weird. And then you can see where that screw was touching. Look at that. Well, so that's definitely the issue there. Um, I don't think I'll be able to fix that at all. Uh, you know, it definitely shorted out. Um, what I think happened is, and I'm pretty sure of this, is uh that that milwaukee packout makes a very good seat um and this inverter was sitting right on top of there and i'm betting somebody sat on it or they put something on it heavy um and it just pushed pushed this little board right down and hit this which is an inductor i think correct me if i'm wrong um and that's that so I, yeah, I probably probably won't try to fix this. Maybe I'll maybe I will. I don't know, but uh, I I do think I can get a new board for this. Um, it's I mean it's a good inverter, uh, and the board is basically well, it's basically the inverter. So um, you'll see what I can do there. So I also wanted to talk about why this wasn't a catastrophic failure. Uh, you know, obviously the inverter's dead. That's fine. But these are the batteries I was using in there. Uh, I have a few more of them sitting on my bench that I'm waiting to make another project with. Um, but each one of these, you can see kind of back here, each one of these has a, uh, a BMS that I put in there. It's a DALI BMS, um, similar to one of these. This is a little bit different uh, voltage. Uh, but each one of these has one of the, those in there and they're rated at 40 amps. I have them connected in parallel, uh, so I should be able to get 80 amps total. So that that farting noise that the guys were hearing and that we heard upstairs uh, in the garage, that was the BMS's shutting off. Uh, they were overloaded and they shut off. So as soon as I turned that switch on, this shorted out um, and the BMS's were overloaded and they shut off. Now, I should have, and I didn't, but I should have put a fuse in the system. Uh, and this is why it's so important to put fusing in there. If I didn't have any BMSs and I didn't have any fuses, 
this thing would have gone nuclear, you know, in somebody's yard, uh, and it wouldn't have been good. So, um, definitely very important. Have a BMS that does overcurrent protection. I would include a fuse in there as well, just in case something goes wrong with one of these BMSs if they fuse closed, um, you know, or if they if they short, you know, closed. Uh, you're, you're going to have a bad day with these cells. They can put out a ton of amperage, um, you know, any battery really you, you, you want overcurrent protection. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know I've been a little bit absent recently. Uh, we've had a crazy year and, uh, now that it's getting on winter in theory, things are slowing down, but, uh, yeah, I, I have a bunch of exciting projects coming up next year. Uh, I'm going to try to do a lot more filming of them as well. Uh, so don't forget to hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Oh.